Hello and welcome to Vision This Week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Oketumbi and we're reaching you from the air side of the domestic terminal in Lagos. Aircraft cabins are pressurized using cold and filtered air bled from the engines, keeping the air pressure comfortable enough for passengers. While the dry air may cause passengers to become a little dehydrated, but happily they're able to breathe, watch a film, or even browse a duty-free catalog. But this can change suddenly when there is a loss of cabin pressure. What exactly is depressurization? That's what we seek to unravel on this edition. And our flight is set for takeoff. Passengers filing into an aeroplane for an intended flight. And flights like this take place aboard modern aircrafts designed to fly at high altitudes. For example, a Boeing 747 aircraft normally cruises at an altitude of 28,000 to 35,000 feet. This is because aircraft consume less fuel. Airplanes, big aeroplanes, 737, the dashets and above, are designed to fly at very high altitude. Flying at very high altitude makes life easier for those the engines that power the aeroplanes. It makes it um, easier. It makes it possible for the aeroplane to travel further on the same amount of uh, fuel. It makes it if the flying smoother and and generally uh, more comfortable for passengers. When you at higher altitudes, the air mass is thinner. Therefore, there is less turbulence. However. The human body is not designed to survive at such high altitudes, so the air pressure inside the cabin must be controlled. Without a fully functional pressurized cabin, passengers and crew need to use oxygen. Aircraft is built in such a way that um, it's not a 100% um, system that is built in such a way that nothing can happen or no failure can happen. As human beings, Sometimes we have malaria, our system is not working very well. Pressurization problem on, in the cabin will make the passengers to be uncomfortable and thereby everybody will start to talk about one thing or the other and the next thing that we are thinking of, maybe the aircraft wants to crash. While air pressure in the cabin must be controlled, sometimes depressurization may occur. And what exactly is this? The pressurization is the occurrence of any event that leads to loss of pressure in the cabin. While the loss of pressurization is an emergency in an aircraft flying at the normal cruising altitude for most jet passenger aircrafts, most times it's an issue of comfort than safety. The aircraft has got backup systems in the case of a depressurization. There are things that will come into, into place to not to avoid it, because it's already happened, that's why the oxygen masks will come down. So if the oxygen masks didn't come down, there would be a problem. But there was a problem with the depressurization and the oxygen masks deployed automatically, so we knew that everybody knows that system is working. And when it does occur, an emergency descent comes to the rescue. In the case of an uncontrolled depressurization, the crew will want to descend immediately to an altitude at which they and the passengers can breathe without supplementary oxygen. Um, whenever there is depressurization, pilots or pilots are trained. It's part of their qualification uh, requirements. You're trained to handle it. All you just do is descend to um, a, an altitude that does not require aircraft pressurization, and then you continue. Although at that point, the, the, the flying will be less efficient on the aeroplane, but at least then the passengers, uh, they are safe. They, don't, they will not be under the risk of passing out because of insufficient amount of air. The concentration is reduced to match with the environment. But it gets to a level around 10,000 feet where the concentration inside the aeroplane is the same thing as outside the aeroplane. So that's all that pressurization does. Pressurization has no bearing on, on the ability of the aeroplane to fly. There are different causes for depressurization, and these include structural failure, which is a failure of a window, door, or pressure bulkhead, for example, or in-flight explosion. An in-flight explosion may be due to system failure, dangerous cargo, or a malicious act consequential on such as an explosive device on board. Pressurization system failure. 
which is malfunction of some part of the pressurization system, such as an outflow valve, inadvertent system control impute, which is accidental or incorrect activation of a critical pressurization control, deliberate act, which is a drastic measure, but one which an aircraft captain might consider, for example, as a way of clearing the cabin of smoke. Away from potential causes, crashes or fatalities from pressure problems are extremely uncommon, even with a fairly rapid decompression brought on by a hole or puncture bust. Frequent fathers must know the announcement. Should the cabin experience sudden pressure loss, oxygen masks will drop down from above your seat. Place the mask over your mouth and nose.